about one married woman to another. Jumping really quickly, we've got Lily Asigo, who is... Um, in case you don't know him, Juakali's uh, wife, actually. Very beautiful. She is actually into beauty. She's a beautician. So she came out clearly on an interview with Mambo Seto, and she was talking about um, her experience as a younger kid. Now, when she was about five years old, she was living with, you know how African families, especially Kenyan families, sometimes we just live with our uncles, our aunties. Everyone lives in one small house or one big house, whatever. We all just are very into family. So she and her cousins were somehow at some point living together. And this one particular cousin of hers kept trying to get her into getting with him you know like trying to seduce her and lure her into bed with him which is very awkward first of all because she was five years old i mean i don't uh, you know what pause so she was trying to get lured into bed with this guy and she eventually said no but then it kept going on over and over again and then apparently she continues to say that her mom was very very strict so she didn't find it a comfortable space to have this conversation with her mom but going forward or in her adult life now in fact she actually claims that she only told her mom last year about this particular assault wow. and that's very uncomfortable situation so she's kept it to herself and she's just now telling people which is a good thing it's 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 so brave now the person who was um the the person who was victimizing her is now currently deceased so i yeah. no story for that mm. but still she the thing that she took away from that whole situation is one don't leave your children with your relatives uh, generally just don't do it she doesn't do it with her children now mm -hmm. and number two talk about it if you can find a safe space and talk about it yeah. and again yes 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 talk about it even your mom if you have to drag her by her feet i don't know shout at the top just find a way to talk to the person that you trust the most because it helps it yeah. really does i always say that <clears throat> We are never going to be able to have like open conversations about um, sexually transmitted diseases, mm. um, sexual assault until we start having open conversations about sex. If I'm unable to have a conversation with um, a parent about sex, it's very difficult for me to have a conversation about sexual assault. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I feel like that maybe unfortunately, like we might we might be the guinea pigs, the experiences which we had when we were younger and maybe the difficulty we, we felt to maybe have those open conversations with our parents, we are the people who are going to make that change, you know? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't need to be that every single person needs to have a sexual experience for things to change, but sometimes that's how it goes, you know? Look for her experiences that she's never going to leave her kids with her relatives, right? Somebody else might say that my daughter is always going to be, always going to feel open to have the conversation with me about sex. Whatever it is, as much as these situations are really traumatizing i love to see the beautiful picture that is created once somebody has suffered some trauma and for her clearly she's bold enough to speak to her mom about it and two she's making changes or she's trying to make to create a different environment for her children you know mm -hmm. so let's start with let's be able to have conversations about sex so that we can be able to have conversations about sexual assault. Yeah. yeah. I think the only thing that makes me sad about this whole story about mm. sexual assault is like we focus so much on the woman and how she has gone through it and how the lessons that she has learned mm. and how you're going to protect yourself from that thing. Mm. And it's like we haven't yet as a society been able to find a way to deal with the perpetrator, you yeah. know, with a person who's now being the aggressor, the one who's trying to get into that situation. Because it's mm -hmm. so sad that now she's decided her children are never going to stay with any relative I know. ever at all. I know. And I can't imagine like me not being able to take my kids my future kids to my sister's yeah. house because of a tea I'm afraid about whoever Imagine. her husband might do or anything like that you know yeah. or even like my mother's house because mm -hmm. I'm afraid about whoever whoever's gonna be just no relative at all I find that that's really really sad mm -hmm. and I don't have the answer for that either but I just wonder if like is there a way now that we can talk about so it's not a, a reactionary thing mm -hmm. and it's not a thing of like protect yourself we can talk talk talk, talk about mm -hmm. it but like how do we stop our young men or women mm -hmm. from now like abusing other people yeah you I know? feel like um these are these a shirt I saw Shiv Simani wearing which said um, protect your daughter and then he, that was crossed out and it said educate your son exactly. you know yeah. so, and it's going to start with us as well it's going to yeah. start with the conversation which we are having with our sons it's going to start um, with the conversation which we're having with our husbands mm -hmm. yeah. about sexual assault because mm -hmm. once they know they're going to be able to teach the, the next generation but if and also as family we have to be able to cut that snip it off and hold the puppet uh, and puppet uh, accountable, accountable. Yeah. whether or not it's your brother whether or not it's who it has to be that if you sexually assault a child sexually assault anyone it's done yeah. you are done you don't exist in this family as a person yeah. and until we get there until we get there then it's like just it's, gonna continue the cycle is gonna is. continue you guys yep. let us know your thoughts the whatsapp number is available we want to hear from you and your experiences